Good morning, everyone. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's take a few moments now and call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are truly risen. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the good shepherd. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life and the cup of our salvation. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who have been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. Then some of the Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem. And they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived, he saw the grace of God. He rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. A large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you. O city of God, all you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion, they say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
the feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. As I've been reflecting on the Acts of the Apostles, and I just finished uh, reading a a great book, a biography on the life of St. Paul by N.T. Wright. And as I was reflecting upon the Acts of the Apostles and reflecting upon what I read in Paul's biography, there really is nothing new under the sun. People go through difficult times. Every generation has their particular struggle that they have to endure or challenges that they rise up to. And in the early church, the struggle, of course, for them was survival. Also, the challenge for them was to preach the gospel, but also to tell people about who Jesus is, the fact that he was crucified and then rose from the dead. A difficult message to deliver because it's just so unbelievable. And yet, the Acts of the Apostles tells us that they remain firm in their faith in their conviction, even in the midst of persecution and for some, death. It was their faith that held them together, faith that kept their feet on the ground, so to speak. Now, for you and for me, our challenge is right now uh, how to cope with this social distancing In the beginning, it was a little bit of a challenge, but we figured, oh, it's going to go a couple of weeks, and and we'll be fine. Well, then two weeks went to two more, and it looks like there's going to be a lot more ahead of us. People are getting antsy. People are getting uh, frustrated. Some people are getting outright angry. They just want everything to go back to normal. Uh, There is not going to be any normal for us anymore, I don't think. So how do we get through this new and difficult and challenging time? It is through our faith. It is the faith that has gotten previous generations through difficulties. It is faith that will get us through this difficulty. It will help us to keep our feet firmly on the ground and our eyes fixed on the Christ, the Good Shepherd. So let us pray for our brothers and sisters who are struggling during this time. Let's also pray for ourselves that our faith will remain strong as we go through this challenge. As we seek to be trusting sheep of God's flock, let's offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For our church leaders, for Holy Father Pope Francis, for our Bishop Peter, may Christ guide them in shepherding their people with a spirit of love, compassion, and solidarity, we pray to the Lord. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them wisdom in carefully addressing problems that face their communities and our nation. 
we pray to the Lord. For the sick, the homebound, the lowly, may God bring them comfort, love, and healing, we pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Lord in his favor grant us strength in remaining faithful to him, we pray to the Lord. And for all those who have died in the light of Christ, especially those who have died because of COVID-19, and also for Philomena and Ralph Renfer, who remember at this Mass, may they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the petitions brought to our shrine, seeking the intercession of St. Jude, we pray to the Lord. Let's now take a few moments and add our own prayers in the silence of our hearts. And for all these prayers unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the blood of my chalice. The blood of the, for this, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs, return life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers of this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us. 
may bring your help in this present age and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.